Welcome to Fluid Mechanics Lectures by Civil Thinking and in this class we are going to solve a problem on equation of continuity. Now the problem is on your screen. The diameters of a tapering pipe at section 11 and 22 are 100 mm and 150 mm respectively. If the velocity of water flowing through the pipe at section 11 is 5 m per second, find number 1 discharge through the pipe and number 2 the velocity of water at section 22. Now you can see this is a pipe, this is a tapering pipe. Now tapering pipe is a pipe in which the diameter is changing gradually. So right here this is section 11 and this is section 22. Here the diameter is, let me call the diameter here as D1. It is 100 millimeter which is 0 0.1 meter. And at section 2 the diameter is D2 which is 150 mm 0 0.15 meter now before I continue I want to say if you want to download the PDF of this video lecture you can download the PDF of this video lecture from the description so don't worry about writing just try to understand and also if you have any problem you can contact me the link to contact me is again in the description you can ask me problems and I am definitely going to help you now coming back to the problem now we have to find the discharge to the pipe we also have to find the velocity of water at section 22 at section 11 velocity is 5 meter per second and we don't know the velocity at section 22 let the velocity at 22 section be v2 okay we don't know let let it be v2 now discharge let q be the discharge okay now we know discharge is area into velocity area cross sectional area of the pipe okay let a be the cross sectional area of the pipe multiplied by the velocity now it is a tapering section okay it means the diameter is changing so the area is changing right if the diameter of the cross section changes the area changes so which area which cross section are we going to use because the cross sectional area is changing so this a is changing okay now according to the continuity equation or equation of continuity we know mass flow rate is same okay from exit and the inlet okay now this is the exit and this is the inlet okay we are assuming the flow is from here to here now this is the inlet 1 1 and the water is leaving from 2 2 it is the outlet okay now according to the equation of continuity mass flow rate from the inlet is equal to mass flow rate from the outlet now here we have only one inlet and one outlet so mass flow rate in the section 1 1 is equal to mass flow rate from the section 2 2 right so m dot 1 let m dot means mass flow rate is equal to m dot 2 okay now mass flow rate it is in kg per second okay kg per second now mass flow rate it can be written as density rho 1 a1 v1 is equal to rho 2 a2 v2 okay now rho 1 is the density of the fluid at section 1 1 rho 2 is the density of fluid at section 2 2 now we are assuming that the flow is incompressible okay that means density at section 1 is same as density at section 2 okay so density rho 1 is equal to rho 2 okay so we will call both of them as rho okay now in this equation the rho and rho will cancel out right this rho and rho will cancel out and we are left with only a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 right this is the continuity equation okay now basically this is the continuity equation okay mass flow rate is same from the inlet and the outlet this is the volumetric flow rate anyways we don't have to go deep in these things now let's move on now we have to find the discharge okay now this is the discharge discharge is same at 1 and 2 why because discharge is area multiplied by velocity now area at 1 multiplied by velocity at 1 is q1 right now area at 2 multiplied by velocity at 2 is q2 it means we can 
use any of these a1 v1 or a2 v2 to find the discharge so let's assume we are going to fuse q is equal is equal to a1 v1 okay we need to find q discharge we'll use a1 v1 right now a1 is cross sectional area of this pipe okay it is pi by 4 d1 square multiplied by v1 right now it is pi divided by 4 d1 diameter of the section 1 cross section 1 it is 0 0.1 square multiplied by velocity of fluid at cross section 1 it is 5 meter per second okay now when you solve this using the calculator you will get 0 0.039 meter cube per second so we get the discharge discharge is q is equal to 0 0.039 meter cube per second now second we have to find the velocity of water at section 2 2 means we have to find the v2 now we are going to use this a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 right this is the equation of continuity now we have to find v2 right now v2 is what from here what is the value of v2 it is a1 v1 divided by a2 right now area it is a circular pipe area is pi divided by 4 d1 square a1 right multiplied by v1 divided by pi divided by 4 d2 square now in this equation now pi upon 4 and pi upon 4 they will cancel out each other so we are, we are left with d1 square by d2 square multiplied by v1 right now we can write this d1 by d2 power 2 right it can be simplified as d1 divided by d2 power 2 multiplied by v1 right now d1 is 0 0.1 and d2 is 0 0.15 square multiplied by v1 is 5 meters 5 meter per second right when you solve this using the calculator you will get v2 right so i use the calculator i get v2 to be 2.22 meter per second so here we get the velocity at the section 22 of this tap ring pipe v2 is 2.22 meter per second now in this way we solve the problem on the equation of continuity we use it at tapering pipe a fluid is flowing through the tapering pipe right now we know the velocity at the cross section 1 1 and we needed to find v2 and we found that we also needed to find find the discharge of the fluid through this pipe now again if you want to download the pdf it is in the the link is in the description and if you have to contact me if you have to ask me any problem please contact me the link to contact me is in the description and that's it for today see you in the next class thank you